amigos, bienvenido a Parajona. To get to Barahona, we took a public bus from Santo Domingo to Barahona with Caribe Tours. It was about 450 pesos per person, and it was a quick three-hour journey. The bus was very nice, so let's show you a little bit of that. We are waiting for our bus at the Caribe Tours bus station. We took a Uber to get here, and there was a bunch of traffic in the morning. So at the bus station, we just walked up to the uh, counter and told the place where we we're going and how many people and they just wanted cash didn't need to see our passports and now we're sitting in the lounge waiting so it was a pretty easy process we're pretty scared that we might not be able to hear them call out the name and so we keep on going up to the counter to ask if our bus is going to call uh, and lucky for us uh, a, a nice guy next to us noticed and he said that he will tell us when uh, the bus is called, so I don't think we're going to miss it out. All of the announcements sound like mumbles. Once we got off the bus at Barahona Town, uh, we were a little confused because it was crowded and we weren't really sure how to get to our homestay. We are not staying at one of the big hotels here because they were all very expensive. We picked a homestay, which is about a 10, 15 minute taxi ride from the town. staying at the Eco Villa Corral Garden here outside of Barahona. It's a very tranquil place with only a few rooms available to stay. It has a pool and you can see the sea from our room. They've just led us to our room and this is it. We have this full size bed and a smaller bed if I need to kick Kelly out. And then over here we have kind of like a closet area. We probably won't use it though, we never do. And then of course we have our bathroom. Nice sink, stand up shower. Barahona, you can go on lots of excursions that take you outside of the city. Kelly and I right now are trying to decide which excursion we want to go on. We looked up a couple excursions, one including to go to this lake that has American crocodiles or go to this other kind of like pond that has a bunch of flamingos and there's also a bunch of beaches that we can explore. But today we are going to spend our time relaxing by the beach and by the pool. seashore. It's only about a five minute walk so it's not too bad. But something to know about Barahona is it is not your sandy beach. It is a pebble beach. <laughs> I told Kelly this earlier but I compared our homestay to basically a flower in a desert. Where we are staying is definitely beautiful and it has like a nice room, a nice pool, but it has nothing around it and it's not serving food anymore. So we have to walk or find some type of way to go to a restaurant. So that's what we're doing now. We're walking on this pebble beach to a restaurant that should be down the way. At least that's what Google Maps says. They did offer to get a transportation. So last night we got on, um, it looks like the, I think the husband's motorcycle or the brother, we're not really sure who it is. We got on his motorcycle and he drove us to a restaurant. We do have to pay an extra service fee for that. But the walk is definitely doesn't make it that enjoyable to stay at the homestay, even though it is gorgeous. About a five to 10 minute walk from the place that we are staying is a small little lagoon. 
that James and I discovered yesterday and we're going to go swimming in it for a little bit. Because you might be able to go swimming in like the actual sea, but the waves look way too big for us to like want to trust ourselves because we don't really know the water, we don't know what to look for, so we'll stick to our little baby pool. walked up from the beach to the restaurant and sat down and ordered food. They have a really nice restaurant that overlooks the ocean. I got some Alfredo pasta and Kelly got the fish pasta. We're definitely underdressed to be here, but look at this. We are going to a river that meets the beach called Los Pasos. So we're going to sign off here and we'll see you in the morning. Riding in the car with our guide and he is being super nice and helping me practice Spanish. He told me that if there's any word that I don't know in Spanish, just ask him and he'll tell me. But we're on our way to our hike. We're making a quick pit stop to refill a tire that was flat on the car. Uh, and then we're going to go to our hike. Kelly and I are super excited because the pictures that we've seen are, are very beautiful. The water looks like it's gonna be awesome. Just stopped at the spot in the river where it crosses, and our guide went up to talk to this um, guy who's kind of like sitting at this house up here. And for some reason, he's holding a rifle, um, but like a hunting rifle, or like a hunting shotgun. And also, we just passed a guy who was holding a machete. Two machetes. No, one was a sheath. No. <laughs> the hike to get to La Plaza is like about a moderate hike, I would say, beginner to moderate. Uh, we are using our Chacos and Tevas shoes because we're also crossing through the rivers. The shoes are holding up pretty well, so pretty happy about the investment. As we walk through the water, it is nice and cold, but it feels really good on this hot day. Time to go swimming. It's very cold. But it feels very nice because it's so hot outside. Woo! So cold. All right. Let's do it. Three, two. You didn't even dive. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. It gets deep. <laughs> this water is so clear. You can see all the way to the bottom perfectly. It's got this like beautiful blue color to it. This place is awesome. It's so beautiful. And we have this place pretty much to ourselves. It's just us and then our guide. Um, but yeah. Yeah, our guide is on lookout for us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to go swimming. Hopefully we'll find a good spot to swim. Yeah, we'll find a good spot to swim. We stopped at this 
little plaza to go swimming for a little bit and then we're going to head on to the next spot which is about a 50 to 60 minute hike. Right as we were leaving, a quite a big group, about six to seven people showed up. So lucky for us, we got to swim by ourselves. Now we're gonna hike to the next one. All right, James. <laughs> Got it. Second part of the hike is a little bit of a climb over the rocks and they're kind of slippery. Luckily we arrived early enough to beat the crowd because about 30 minutes after we came here, all of these people, all of these tours started to show up. So now we're heading down to go eat our lunch. Time for our picnic. Trying out for some fruit. No! Yes, got it. <laughs> what else do we have, James? We've got two plates so we can be civilized. <laughs> and we have sandwiches wrapped in tin foil. We made it back to the car and now we are headed to Los Patos. And this place is much crazier than I thought it was going to be. It is the weekend, so it is full of people here swimming in the river. And the beach is beautiful, but it has crazy big waves, so we're not really wanting to swim there. with a lot of people. Um, this is packed full. That I think like both of us are exhausted and from the hike that we're not really wanting to go swim anymore. Uh, but it is kind of relaxing just to sit here and people watch, I would say. There's a lot of people to watch. <laughs> Los Patos definitely seems like a party place for a lot of the locals here. This is the weekend, so many of them come out, they sit in chairs, around this bunch of like stalls that serve food. They all bring their own drinks and just hang out in the river. Uh, it seems like a good time. We were up bright and early this morning because we were trying to catch the bus to San Domingo and then head to Submana. Our taxi driver was supposed to be here at 5.20, it's now 5.32 and the bus leaves at 6 so we're cutting it really short and we have no idea where, if this taxi is going to show up. But we are going to make it to Submana at some point so thanks for watching our video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one. Adios!